the wave motion gun. Yes. The wave motion gun. What whatever wave motion gun is. That's that's what we get back from break on. So good job, you called it. Thanks, Sam. Just before we cut in, he's like, make sure that when you find it, it's the first thing that you say. They were talking about something while I was gone. Mm -hmm. We were talking about the, how the show is gonna end when uh, I ask, I murder Ashlyn and try to frame Esteban, and then we find out that Uncle Bish saw the whole thing. And I go to try to get Uncle Bish too, but it turns out that this is really an anime and Uncle Bish is like a super buff old man who breaks my carpentry hammer when I swing it at him with his bare hands. That sounds amazing. <laughs> anyway, uh, I do have a scene though that I want to do here at dinner. Uh, no, we're gonna follow the we're gonna follow the people with the dogs. Oh yeah, I forgot. This about is that. before this is before this dinner is happened. Before dinner, uh, there was some barking and braying and maybe howling, and then people chasing after dogs. And um, I think that Ashlyn and Ned were going to try to catch up and find out what's going on. Yeah. So. Ashlyn has the faith trait, so does she glow so that we can see? <laughs> I would have to cast, uh, I would have to pray for that to happen. Well, if she uses the night wolf eyes, you can all see by the glow of her eyes. Oh, I forgot that was one. I can do that. Yeah, I could I could do the night wolf eyes thing if you really wanted me to. But... Uh, well, I don't have any torches anymore because I gave up all of my adventuring gear for magical <laughs> booze. Right. <laughs> Your magical blues almost got us into trouble when I invited the winter queen over, well, the winter uh, goddess over for dinner and went to pull out wine and found your magical wine that you had stolen. You didn't drink it, did you? No, 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 no. Okay, good. No, but I just very carefully, just very, just very quietly closed the cabinet again. <laughs> That's good. That's a good choice. Um, <laughs> so, um, I mean, I think it's obvious that Ashlyn is going to activate her her night wolf vision, um, whether or not it produces a glow that is enough for Ned to also see by, I think is the question. Uh, do these people who are running after the dogs have like torches or anything? I know I don't think so. Okay. Is there like a full moon? Like, how dark are we talking about here? I don't think it's that. <clears throat> All right, we're probably fine then. It's a full moon. Okay. Also, it's probably not that not dark because sure. we're just eating dinner. Like, we're on a farm. We probably eat dinner fairly early. Yeah, I think it's like just after, just after dusk or just after mm -hmm. sunset. All right. All right. Yeah, so you guys chase after the two people. The Gloaming, dogs. that's the name of this time. Gloaming. Mm -hmm. I thought that was an emotion. No, no. Okay. Gloaming is at the time right after uh, the sun sets. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's like smoldering. <laughs> that's. Maybe. Can be an emotion. Okay. So. You're chasing after these uh, people. Like, do you say anything? Yeah, yeah, um, Ashlyn is going to call out. Um, is everything all right? Uh, can, can we help you? All right, so you hear a man say, Oh, it's, it's Ashlyn and her friends. Oh, you, you keep following the dogs. I'll, I'll stop and talk to them. And uh, Esteban, you, you recognize his name. It's uh, Autumn, Autumn's father. Mr. Autumn. Mr. Autumn. <laughs> Fall. Mr. Autumn, uh, he falls behind and he's, he says, <laughs> Good evening, Ashlyn. Uh, hi there. Um, I, I heard all this commotion and I, I wanted to make sure everything was all right. Everything's fine. I'm sorry to give you a fright. Do you need some? The dogs got free. They uh, don't know what got into them, but they just ran off, trying to 
chase them down and bring them back home. Do you want some help? Maybe um, Esteban could help catch up with them on his horse. Uh, no, we're totally fine. And uh, you, <laughs> you're like, <laughs> he was about to say yes, and then you're like, oh, Esteban can help. He's like, no. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's like, not. Well, you could help, but not Esteban. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't want to say that, though. Of course not. Uh, can I? Can I pick up on that? Um. I don't. His perception. I think he just. Mm-hmm. I don't think that. I don't think Ashlyn knows about like Esteban's relationship okay. with them I think it's just perception okay uh, let's go with perception let's have Esteban wise <laughs> a great skill Esteban wise uh, Esteban might, should have Esteban wise might be helpful uh, what is my um, obstacle I would go with three. Three? Okay. Yeah. <sighs> Ouch. Boo. All right, so you don't pick up on this. Unless you use your wolf powers. Not here. It I don't makes think. your eyes all glowy. I don't think but it's. A, just... I don't. I don't think it's appropriate for me to do it here. Like. Yeah, you, you don't catch on to it. You think he just... Oh, I'm sorry. I have to get back to the hunt. Oh, of course. Of course. Well, uh, let me know if you need any help. I, I think we've got more stew if you're hungry afterwards. I am an excellent hunter. He's already run off. <laughs> <laughs> like, he runs off in the middle of... like You know how that thing where like someone's talking and you like run backwards? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Away from the be done talking and then you turn. So as soon as Ashlyn was done talking, he he's turned around. Mm-hmm. He started his running. I uh, <clears throat> turn around and look at Ashlyn and I say, I'm an excellent hunter. And, uh, yes? Do you want to go help? I mean, they sounded like they didn't really need any help. But uh, no, they they definitely you. didn't want help. I'm just pointing out. Well, right. <laughs> well, <laughs> come on, let's um, let's go back and finish dinner. I bet I'm a better hunter than that guy. To be honest, kind of ignored me there. That was a little rude. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Anyway, <laughs> he just starts walking back to the. <laughs> To the house. All right. All right. You guys make it back inside. Uh, uh, Ashlyn? Yes? I heard you include in this list um, that Rachel was going to be at this dinner. Uh-huh. Did, she should be. Did she show up? Was she here before you guys left to go with the dogs and she just didn't come and we were left behind to talk about me meeting up with her parents to get dogs. I totally believe that's a thing that could have happened. Yeah. Sure. Because my other idea was that um, you guys leave. Rachel shows up for dinner while you guys are gone. She walks in and then just like, hi, Rachel, but either way. Well, I thought you actually went outside with them. Mm Mm-mm. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he didn't. We just volunteered him anyway. (laughs) Oh, that's what happened. Okay, you just brought him up. Cool. So what... So while you guys are gone, um, and I hear barking outside, I'm... I look at Rachel, and I'm like, speaking of dogs, I've been looking to get... um, I have sheep... On my property and uh they're grazing now i could really use a dog or two 
to protect them while I'm out because it's just me out there and there are so many sheep. So Rachel says, I suppose that's a good business decision. I was considering I do own, I do own your house in your flock technically. It would be an investment for me. Um, what kind of flock are you looking for? Oh my god. Now as a player, I have to make a decision on what sort of dog I want to have. You have to get some kind of sheep dog. No. Well then, how is it going to herd sheep? Sometimes you make bad decisions in life. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> now the point. Hard to argue with that. Just put my dog into the game. Yeah, His do dog. <laughs> Instead of getting dog. an actual Can sheep dog, I get I get up a character by next session. That's what I want now. I get <laughs> uh, a little tiny sheep dog. I mean, like corgis are tiny dogs, and they're sheep dogs. Are they? Are they really? Oh yeah. Huh. Or like shelties, they're literally Shetland sleep sheep dogs. Yeah, yeah, I need they those. are small dogs, they're, and they're they big dogs. they they keep sheep in line. Sheep are docile, stupid animals. <laughs> that too, <laughs> that too. But they have adorable lambs. They do <laughs> with their little feet. Mm. Mm. So we have an important decision to make. Do I put my dog into the game, or do I put Eric's dog into the game? <gasps> it's your dog, man. You get to or I could have Eric's both. This dog is so cute, though. You could have two dogs. You could have two dogs. Uh, I, I gotta. Have... That's a higher lifestyle, maybe, <laughs> <it>, so. <laughs> right? I gotta score to settle with Eric's dog. That dog lost me a game with Sea Dracula. <laughs> How <It's> true. <laughs> dare he? I remember that. I need to have my vengeance on that dog one day. How am I doing off. him? Really good. I'm just going to give him so many scratches, he won't know what to do. <laughs> then, I'll, then I'll show him. Mm -hmm. uh, for anyone in, in chat who did not watch the Once Upon a Game episode of Sea Dracula, what I remember happening was <laughs> it was a standard dance-off, as usual. <laughs> but then Eric cheated and brought in his dog and did puppy dances and oh. won oh puppy dances always win though that's the mm -hmm. problem exactly that's yeah. why it's cheating oh, my revenge mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway <laughs> what dog are you picking oh I, I i want both but rachel owns my house <laughs> Wait, I'm building you a new house so you don't even own it? Nope. <laughs> well, hold on. Let me ask you. It's a ship of Theseus. Or, uh, yeah, ship of Theseus question, right? Because we're rebuilding all of the, old, the parts of the house. Is it the same house? Does she own it still? She's or pretty is good. It a new house. It's the same house. Good yeah, try, though. Know? So somewhere there's like probably a piece of paper that says Estevan's an indentured servant or something. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Basically anything Estevan owns, she owns. Mm -hmm. She just has like carte blanche to ask for favors all the time. I should have created a lawyer and then I could make rule of law tests <laughs> to argue that it wasn't the same house anymore because it had been entirely rebuilt. Like the uh -huh. piece of shit. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I'll open up philosophy over the next year. <laughs> um, Welcome to real life. You need to do more and open it up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, it's not my life. I'm not an indentured servant. 
<laughs> yeah. Yes. So you just fail your uh, your lifestyle test. So. Mm. Well, now I have resources, so I have a capability of passing. <laughs> That's a good point. Did we ever do that for this? I think we forgot to. But I no, no we, we did, did it. One. We just all almost all of us failed. I I, I everybody failed in like. Like oh, I think right. I succeeded, which got me up to three resources, and then I helped everybody else, and failed every time, taxing myself back down to two resources, That's permanently. Right. Well, no, if you advanced, you no, I advanced first. So no, no, because I taxed myself down to zero, which reduces oh, it by one permanently. You taxed it all the way down to zero. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah that's bad. <laughs> that's mm -hmm. real bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, which is why I am so I was in there when you did uh, your your resources tests. Oh, you did I can't remember uh... if I actually made my test or not, but I have resources zero anyway because of the resource cycle before that, which is why I'm say... indentured to Rachel. Mm -hmm. Well, then Rachel still... pays your resources, your, your lifestyle, right? If you're her slave, mm -hmm. <laughs> you're her indentured servant, which is essentially just a pretty name for slavery mm -hmm. uh it's, so it's, it's not like that mm, technically technically it's like having a mortgage i mean if we're talking about traditional indentured sla servitude mm -hmm. it's not but i mean that's fine it so if, in this game if the mortgage is slavery if you take out a loan <laughs> to pay off the mortgage, is that still slavery? If, if you want to <laughs> that we're in Shadowrun and you're all wage slaves, that's fine too. I mean, it sounds like at least one of us is. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Mm. <laughs> this way I got to hurt cheap. I have to actually do my job. I guess what it says in the book. If, uh, if you can't pay it, somebody else has to pay it for you. So. Uh, look, it makes sense. I'm not. It, it follows medieval logic. I'm just saying, it's not a good place to be. <laughs> no, it's not. So Rachel thinks about it. And says, hmm, "I can, yes, I know. Just the kind of dog. Sometimes I thought about. I thought about getting a dog. I had too many cats in the seeds in the seed bank." That's not a problem right now. If I can get a dog, a dog that will watch your sheep, it would protect your investment. It would. All right, I'll get you a dog. Yay! So do I? I I know that Rachel's parents have dogs. Yeah. Uh, this is. Not that Rachel. Wait. There are two Rachels? Oh no. Hold on, Hold on a second. I think you said the wrong person has the dogs. Oh no. Everything is ruined. All of your plans. Oh Rachel. What what's going on here? Did I get the names messed up again? Because Probably. Ashlyn has an Ash. A a shadow duplicate. Rachel must also have a shadow duplicate. <laughs> I got the names mixed up, probably. Let me just find my things. Why can't I? I click on Harvest Belly. This other thing pops up. <laughs> okay, let's try this one. Do we have a shadow version of our game? Is there a shadow roll 20 we don't know about? Um, Soon you'll be banished to the Shadow Realm after <laughs> Ned beats you in a da 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 <laughs> Of wits. <laughs> of wits. <laughs> <laughs> you do still play cards, but they're they're like the, the mouse guard cards. Mm -hmm. And one of us is still banished to the Shadow Realm and has their souls taken away. <laughs> <laughs> that's the important part to remember is the banish the Shadow Realm part. And that's probably uh -huh. me. Like, let's be honest. Yeah. Oh, no, I see why I messed up. No, it's not Rachel's parents that have the dogs. It's, uh, it's Autumn's parents that have the dogs. Mm. 
Lots of people's parents have dogs. True. I don't think Rachel's parents do anything, honestly. (laughs) They just just are wealthy people for a little... Pretty much. The wealthy old people. That's a good place to be. They're sinecures? Yeah. There's a word for that. They're like they're like dilettantes, but not nobles. Sinecures. I wonder if they're the weather cross. Mmm. Mm. I didn't give anybody last names, but last names were a big thing in that America Stop game. Oh, well. That's true. That's what happens when you sit on a game for eight months before you play it. <laughs> um, but okay. It was uh, incubating for eight months. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Like Sorry about baby. that. Yeah, Rachel doesn't. Rachel's parents don't do dogs, but she she will get the dogs. The dogs actually just ran outside, so mm-hmm. she may not be able to get the dogs. But, <laughs> they ran away in the night. Maybe well, she that's sh- how you GM. Maybe she <laughs> should convince them to let Esteban help. Or yeah. Mm-hmm. So you guys come back in. I guess you're talking about dogs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Well, I guess they have it all in hand. Um, they, uh, I guess their dogs got loose. They were chasing after him, but they said they didn't need any help, so... We might as well have dinner, everyone. So as, like, you go to walk and sit down at the table, I walk past the table and go to the wine cabinet and pull out all of the wines and <laughs> set them down on the table and then sit down in front of the dinner and wait to see if anyone says something. That's, um... That's a lot of wine. He's like eating while he says this he's like yep just take just a, a bottle from the center of the table and pull it to like my half all right of the table all right we gotta taste them are you gonna drink all of that these nah, almost, you know these bottles almost got me in trouble um we met the we met winter in town and um Winter? Is that someone new to town? Sort of. Um, she mm-hmm. used to live in a frozen castle on top of Faust Mansion, and now she lives... Oh, it's that, that ice cream. Yes. I had her over for uh, dinner the other day. She mm-hmm. seems so lonely, but... Um... Ned, I don't want to have to cover for you. I don't... Well, you were there, and you stole stuff from there, too. You stole a whole person. That... I didn't... That... That was an accident. It's not like I could just put her back. Well, you could have tried. Maybe I'll talk to Ash about that later don't think that I don't think that's a anyway, thing if come we on can, before the stew gets cold we can talk we, about wine later if we Rachel's can just very confused if we can figure out if any of these beverages are made out of mm-hmm. grain I may be able to reproduce this and I mean if we build a brewery we should start selling magic magic Liquor? I mean, come on. That's a... That's a... That'll be great. We'll make a lot of money. I suppose so. We'll put this town on the map. I'm telling you. I mean, come on. The town that sells magic booze? That's true. Rachel, you know a lot about money. 
I think he mixed two sentences together like you know about money and you have a lot of money <laughs> into you know about a lot of money. In fact, we all turn and look at Rachel. <laughs> I don't know if we could we could market it as magic booze, but <laughs> <laughs> has it people also advertising all right well we gotta taste them and we gotta figure out if any of them are made of grain so yeah i want to taste and see if any of these are like a mead or like basically i want to see if any of these are you a fermentation process where i can use brewery as opposed to right. vintner because <laughs> one of those skills i don't have and one i do have mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you have a wise by any chance? Right. I have grain wise and brew wise. I also have grain wise. I could help you with that. So I think and it's we a can grain get wise drunk in the process. Uh, you, you, mm -hmm. you can say one of them is a grain. That's going to be your, like your declaration with the skill. Like you can make things be true with wises. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're going to say one of them is a. Yeah, that's what I want to say, because I don't have, my character doesn't have any interest in learning how to, like, like become, like, a, a vintner, because there's no grapes growing, but he knows, he knows from grain, and he can grow grain, mm. and so he wants something that he can, he can get his start, become a famous brewer on. Okay. Are we, are we going to? all come together to make a, a magic wine shop because I also have a vineyard that was in my family before my family left. I think I'm pretty sure that they sold it along with the house mm -hmm. to the restaurant new no, um Well I don't hotel, have the wine hotelier. Skill. I have the yeah. the brewing skill. Well Yeah exactly. I am gonna help you with this role to make this true with using my grain wise. Cool. Yeah, so it adds to. If it fail, the consequence will be somehow the grain alcohol isn't useful for wherever your plants are. Okay. Like I can't like won't be able to figure out how to like make anything from it. Like what exactly is your plan? My plan is to reverse engineer this magical beer <laughs> and then find the ingredients and reproduce it. I love reduce engineer magical beer. So you're just trying to mm -hmm. make more beer. I thought you were trying to make beer candies or something for some reason. No, okay. no. In the long term, um, I want to have a brewery and I want to be world famous. And if you can uh, create you magic fail, brews, that's pretty Basically, good. so this, this is basically going to, the first step to brewing the perfect meat is to learn more about these magical drinks I found. It's so like, I basically want to use it to help make my drinks better. Mm -hmm. If you fail, mm -hmm. the uh, the grain won't grow in any earthly soil. Oh, that's good. Okay, cool. Wow. Mm -hmm. Um. All right. Can I use brew wise and get help with grain wise? Yeah. Cool. We well, can work it in. But yeah. Yep. Uh, we have I'm also mentioned... getting help from someone else. I think Ashwin. Yeah. I was going to mm -hmm. help with grain wise as well. Do you have anything to help with? I want to also do things with this wine because I have three ticks towards learning wine tasting mm -hmm. and I need three more. So I would like to taste this wine. Um, okay. We could do sure. this maybe as a link uh, test. No, you can just. You can just fork it in. I mean, I hope Well, he that. doesn't have the skill. Yeah, he's still learning oh. it. Mm -hmm. If you're willing to accept his fork, it's, it's dangerous to, to link things in. It is. Um, I mean, I think we should just make it two independent tests because I don't want to try to have you link tests into this with <laughs> an untrained skill because then I'm just <laughs> going to have a harder out. Um, but... So I think you should just yeah, you have can your, do own your own thing. Intent. Your own intent. 
So how about we make this like kind of a versus test? I'm doing wine tasting and you're doing whatever you're doing. If I win, the wine is like made of grapes. Well, like there are the, multiple the point bottles. Is that there's so. like multiple bottles, and one of those bottles, the Needs declaration like is one of those bottles something. is something he could re recreate. Okay. Out of grain. Okay. Yeah, cool. Also, love our grapes. So. Also, we're gonna see like what kind of weird, wacky stuff happens when we drink this wine because the last one made you grow flowers out of your body. Yeah, that mm -hmm. was that was that was awkward. It was mm -hmm. pretty awkward. Okay, then I just want to figure out um, where these wines are from, from stories and tales that I've heard from growing up in a Ventner's uh, Oh, shit, mm. man. I got a oh. complete lore build up now. No. Yeah. <laughs> Curse you. Can you, just, With wine can you just make it up yourself and then make it be true yeah. with a wine? I'd prefer that. Yeah. All right, tell me a story. And then if, you're, if your wise check succeeds, I'll be true. That's how it should be. Then the GM doesn't have to make shit up on the spot. Well, it's not a wise check. It's just wine tasting. But he can still, mm -hmm. you can still tell him. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You, can, it's like you can be like, executive decision, Adam, you you have to do this. I'm not doing this nonsense. All right. Why don't I roll first? That way you yeah, can I'm have time to come nonsense. up with some wine <laughs> nonsense. I can only credit. make up so much shit that makes coherent sense in one night, guys. See. <laughs> Very disappointing. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> Untrue. Uh, all right, I'll give I'll give Adam some time here. So I've got brew wise. I'm getting one die of help from Ashlyn. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I'm gonna fork in grain wise. I'm gonna fork in brewer because I'm specifically doing this for the purpose of being a better brewer. Okay. And that'll be it. What's my odd? Sobs two. Honestly, I think the whole like listing off forks thing is have to stall for time so GM can think of what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Damn. I wrecked it. All right. I mean, that's a lot uh, of sixes. I'm going to reroll those sixes because it doesn't matter. Yeah, there, you find it. That's a really uh, There good was roll one though. I distinctly described as having like a brown color. It's a nice bourbon you can make out of. The magical seeds if you had any all right um what kind of weird wacky stuff does it do when i drink it okay what should a good bourbon do hmm Yeah, I think anything you touch slowly starts to freeze. Oh, that's so weird. So yeah, we see like we see like uh, Ned like and everyone like sniffing bottles mm -hmm. and like Ned like after like sniffing it, Ned like takes the brown bottle and takes like a big swig and he's like holding the table mm -hmm. and as it like goes down. We see like the table like frost over where yeah, he's the holding bottle it. Too, you're holding the bottle. Yeah, yeah. And then he like sets it down. He's like, "Oh, mm. we'll call it ice whiskey." Good name. Yeah, let me try. Appropriate it. name. Yeah, I hand over the bottle. I like trade bottles with Ashley. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Good. Kick some back. Okay. Yeah. You don't feel cold. In fact, you feel warm inside. Oh, this is interesting. But like the same thing, like a frost. Like there's like little puffs of cold air coming out of your mouth. Little I tubs. wonder how long this lasts. It'd be really awkward if it lasted too long. Sideways glance at Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel like just puts out her hand, like she wants them too. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll hand it over. All right. So she takes a, a sip. She's like, pokes at like grapes on the table and other stuff. It's kind of neat, isn't it? 
This is some weird stuff. I agree. Make a fortune. Well, I told you. That's that's definitely Ned's plan. He thinks he might be able to recreate this or something like it. Yeah. We had to figure out what the base was, though. I have to I, keep the seeds really safe, too. I tell you what, sure. wh whatever that that grain is, whatever it's made of, it, it's something different than I've ever, I've ever grown or or seen it. I bet only that ice lady will know how to get it. There's certainly nothing like this that I've ever seen. It'll be a challenge to be able to grow it. I look forward to it. And then Ned, like, turns to look at Esteban, who's probably got, like, a blue bottle or something. And mm -hmm. he's like, now what's going on with that one? Let's find out. I'm still trying to figure out how to open it. <laughs> 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 I'm just, like, fumbling with, like, um, because, like, there's, like, the end is probably dipped in, like, weird magic wax or something like that. And, like, maybe okay. I pull it off and it, like, re-slimes on and it just like keeps wanting to try to grab onto the neck of the bottle yeah. and i'm just like fighting to open it yeah okay that makes sense so how do you how do you get it off mm -hmm. do you want hmm. me to know a way or do you want to tell me a way i have an idea what are you thinking Obviously, you have to give us some of your blood. Obviously. Uh -huh. How would you think of that? <laughs> like, how would how would Esteban in the moment be like, ah? <laughs> so, I'm pretty sure it's an accident. So, just like so, like the cap has like this ring of thorns around it. Mm -hmm. So, the more you try and pull it off, sooner or later you scratch yourself, and you end up giving the wax some of your blood. And then it just falls off like it dies. <laughs> well, that took... That was strange. But I guess we have it open now, so... And I I think, like, maybe we have, like, an arrangement of, like, glasses and They're not wine glasses, table. though. They're, like, Are they mugs? jars and, and, uh, and water glasses and probably one mug. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think... I don't think there's any actual stemware in this house. It's like it's like the scene from Raiders of Lost Ark. Yes, <laughs> I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> the Holy Grail, mm -hmm. where it's like dozens and tens of cups. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so can I make a wine tasting check to figure out the correct? Oh my gosh, that's actually very good because maybe our magic wine tastes different in different cups or something like that. Like maybe it has so to do with the cup. Cups? You want me to tell you a story? No. <laughs> <You don't. laughs> my intent. Tell us a story, Golden. <laughs> <laughs> if you fail, you have to tell me a story. <laughs> Um, never played role playing games because he was smart. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, so, my intent is to, now that the wine is open, know how to use it so that it, um, it tastes the best in the right glass that I pick and I don't just dismiss it. Your intent is that the magical wine tastes good. <laughs> and tastes different depending on the different cups. It automatically tastes good. You can't make it taste bad. You can't have that as your intent. Uh, you want it to taste different in every cup? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. That sounds cool. Mm -hmm. But it always tastes good. You're not going to have... I agree. Well, I mean... Wine. It what's good to some people is bad to other people, so you know. But it's magic, so it always like as it hits your taste buds, it aligns mm. it in a pleasing way. Mm. Mm -hmm. What if you just have bad taste? 
It, well, then it, it tastes it good to you. Something. No matter what, if you have bad taste in wine, that just means all wine tastes the same to you. It, right? Like that's what I, how it is for me. No, <laughs> it's like when you like it's like when you like Brussels sprouts, but oh, not Brussels broccoli. Sprouts are good though. I love Brussels sprouts. So do I. Brussels sprouts are the worst. You're not cooking them right. We'll talk about this after the show. I have a great <laughs> Brussels sprouts Man, recipe you're for so you. Wrong. Something's wrong. No, I'm I'm actually serious. I have a great recipe for you. We'll <laughs> talk no. about it after the show. Oh, no. I know just like they're just like tiny cabbages. Who can hate cabbage? I'm well my cabbage always gives me gas, so maybe that's related. That's, my cabbages. That's just half the fun. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not. What is happening? <laughs> It all comes around full circle. Oh, man. <laughs> anyway, right. so to right. wine tasting yeah. different in different cups. <laughs> if you if you if you succeed, it tastes different to everybody, and if you fail, Brussels sprouts are bad. <laughs> <laughs> it, it tastes like Brussels sprouts. Man. I think that's we get a harvest good. of bad Brussels sprouts this year. I think that's pretty good if it tastes. But like that's Brussels. a plot hook for us because I mean, we're farmers. I like, I like we have Brussels to fix the Brussels sprouts. But I wouldn't want my wine to taste like Brussels sprouts. I actually had an avocado mead once, and you would think that would not be good, but actually, it made me appreciate avocados more after I had it. Yeah, like vegetable wines are like this really. It's like, kind of like saying, uh, you know, I had a McDonald's hamburger, and I'm not saying it was bad, but it made no, me appreciate what a good hamburger <laughs> tastes like. Like, like, <laughs> like. There's potato whiskey, there's carrot juice. <laughs> I'm sure there's something crazy in China. <laughs> Vegetable <laughs> alcohol is a thing. I mean, technically avocados are fruits, but... <laughs> what are we talking about? I'm sorry, we're super sidetracked. All right, so please, please uh, stop we laughing and roll some dice. Right? We broke Adam. Right? Yeah. And plus, like, sauerkraut is great. <laughs> You're fine. Well, I mean, what is the ob? What was the ob? Um, Obs is two. Um, okay, well, perfect. you still succeeded. You did it. Mm -hmm. Good job. Yeah. Got all successes there. That's really nice. All mm -hmm. right. So, yeah, it's just wine yes. taste. Every cups. And... Can I suggest a magical effect? It does taste different in every cup. That's the magical effect. Oh, yeah, that's the magical effect, yeah. yeah sure. Is that how you normally think alcohol works? Should. <laughs> oh, have you? if you haven't tried whiskey out of a highball glass versus a, you know, a, a bad glass, it makes a huge difference. <laughs> no, I know there's like some difference between the material. <laughs> some people like to freeze the cup. Um, no, I, I'm, I, yeah, I see what you're, I see, I, I meant like, yeah, anyway, moving oh, on. Moving on. It, it just tastes different, and it tastes like wildly <laughs> different, not like, it tastes like slightly, <laughs> like aftertaste is different. It just tastes wildly different, depending on what country you're <laughs> Cool. So we get plastered on the magical <laughs> wine. You don't get plastered. You said you were sipping. Uh, well, I'm imagining as the night progresses, it becomes more like drinking. Okay, I'm rolling to see randomly which one you drink all of. I roll one. It's the uh, rain alcohol. Okay. Purple sticks. You drink all of the one of the kinds of alcohol. Um, Probably the one we already started drinking, the one that made flowers grow inside you. Nah. Well, it makes super sense to try the to try the to try my wine 
you guys finish because... the one that makes it freeze. So it's actually snowing outside. Well, the one that makes it freeze is the is the whiskey. Oh, that's right. That's not that one. Um, mm -hmm. It's I think it's something new. Um, All right, so there's this one where when you drink it, you hear a tinkling of bells. Mm. Like that like that Christmas bells song? Yeah, and when you finish the bottle, you look outside, and you see like, this herd of deer in the, uh, they're outside in the fields, like trying to eat something in the fields. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Uh, um, well, we don't want deer eating our crops. So yeah. We gotta do something about that. I feel that. like a scarecrow is not going to help here. Um, Am I a scarecrow? I'm going to go shoot one of these deer. All right. Well, uh, first I'm going to see what they're plan. eating. First I'll I see like what they're eating, mind. and then I'll shoot them. It looks like it's something they're trying to eat the, uh, the spinach. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely oh, shooting no. these deers. I guess okay. I need to get some, make some fences or something to keep these wild deers out. I'm going to shoot them. <gasps> okay, so you're at plus one abs for being really exhausted because you're working all day. Mm. And Fair drinking. plus one abs for being really drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. If, you, if you fail this roll, um, they spook and trample all of the crops that they didn't eat. Are you going to shoot a person? Oh, no! Well, that's there's always that one. All right. <laughs> What's so up three then? Um, no, I mean, that's just... That's just... <laughs> that's just <laughs> the modifiers. Um, you still have to hit the actual deer. Uh, so what's the up to hit the deer? Well, the deer is going to roll against you. All right, deer. Maybe a versus test. All right, I've got some stuff to fork into this. The deer's test. intent is to eat, eat the spinach. All right. My intent is to kill this deer dead and turn it into more stew. All right. Venison is, makes delicious chili. I'm giving yeah, them a speed of five. It's true. Because they're faster than a person. Okay. I can I can deal with this. I've got bow. I would like okay. to fork in hunting. Okay. Um I would also like to fork in stealthy. Because okay. you gotta be stealthy when you're hunting deers. Okay. And um That's, I think, it. All Is right. Hoping? Can Did anyone help? want to be even remotely near somebody who's got a bowl and is drunk? <laughs> I uh, wouldn't. Uh, um, no. I'm gonna just leave this. I'm just gonna leave this to Ned's very capable hands. Okay. All right. Well, I don't want him to shoot me, so I'm going to help. Okay. <laughs> because how are you helping, though? <laughs> That's a good question. I don't know. All right, <laughs> I'm just going to roll. By trying to hide in conspicuous. I don't think that helps. I don't think that helps I'm at all. Too. It's a good trick. Mean, there you go. Uh, That's dead eye shot on the, uh, man, on the deer. Less. No, no. Because you forgot nope. to add the the additional to ob. Yeah, you get plus three ob I mean, plus two ob. Remember? Uh, but you true. do have a six, so you could reroll that and hope to right, to meet let's your. Alright, let's reroll it and not kill someone. <gasps> nice. Whoa. Okay. Nice. Dead eye make... shot on the deer. I was gonna make it. Maybe if you rolled a one, you would kill Jinx. Oh, that would have been ruthless. 
But no, I kill a deer. You kill Mr. Autumn. You roll, roll three, you shoot yourself. Okay. You, you kill that poor dog that they were trying to catch. Yeah. Terrible. But none of that happened. No, I no, you get deer. it. You shoot the deer. You shoot the deer. The rest of the deer run away. They didn't want to get shot. And now we got a deer. I go and pick it up and put it on my shoulders and bring it inside. Well, Maybe. actually, no, I probably put it under the roof so I can drain it of blood and stuff. Yeah, don't bring the whole dead deer inside. Are not. you smart enough? <laughs> Roll fort to see if you can be not drunk enough to just bring it all inside and show it off. All right. I'll, I'll take that. Well, ho- wait, I wouldn't want... Oh, oh, to see if I'm, like, drunk. I'm so drunk that I'm, like, yeah. not Start. not just in like, my right mind enough to bring it inside, to, like, not right. just bring it right inside. Okay, yeah, that's... Right, right, right. What's the obstacle here? Ops three, you have to concentrate. Oh, that's gonna be tough. Uh, all right, I'm out of all Arthur. Oh wait, no, I have one fate. Um, uh, is anyone helping me to not be drunk? Don't bring it into my house. I can't. I can't really help you not be drunk, but I can maybe direct Point you. Point me in the. You're to, like, yeah. oh, oh, look, under the roof, there's a roofed-in area where you can put a dead deer. Yeah, I'm gonna call that farming wise. Sure. <laughs> farming wise, don't put dead animals in your house. <laughs> farming wise. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, great. Uh, all right. Tell that to my dad. We had a deer hanging from our garage. Well, that's not in the house. Yeah, the garage it isn't a, exactly in the house. It but... was a human garage. Nope. <laughs> nope. All right, the deer makes it into the house. Want to spend your last fate? No. <laughs> but you were so good last time. Yeah, you like come into the house with the deer, and I'm like, oh, um, actually, um, and then like you like it on the table because there's nowhere else to put it. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like collapsed in a chair because you're exhausted. Um, I probably just grab one of the bottles and keep drinking. <laughs> um, uh, uh, I don't think we should be butchering this in here. Um, uh, Estefan, do you want to uh, help me bring it out back? Yeah, I think I can manage to that. <clears throat> so the two of us together are going to lift the deer and take it out back. Mm-hmm. Trail of right. blood through the house. <laughs> <laughs> because for some reason, we don't think to go back out the front door. We we know there's a back well, door, so we I just mean, drag it the rest of the way. It's, it's closer to go out the back door than to go out the front door and then around the house, you know? It probably wouldn't be that bloody. And we already yet, have to clean up some blood an anyway. It's just an arrow wound, though, so it's probably not I've that. I've used this logic before. <laughs> Kelsa, this is the sunk cost fallacy. <laughs> 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 That's not something That's okay, you're drunk. It, we we, we are drunk. I mean, I mean, I'm gonna. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You might as well take it out the back door. I'm gonna have to mop up him in here anyway. I've already got to clean the floor. What, what worse? It's How fine. much worse? Really good. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I have learned. Okay. Um. Uh. So together we are gonna we're gonna carry a deer. Yeah, you carry the deer. I don't think it just needs to be a roll. You just you okay. carry the deer. I, what, what would happen if you failed? A deer comes to life or something? That would have been crazy. <laughs> like it's exactly. it knocks over one of the reanimation alcohols. <laughs> because you know, reanimation alcohol is totally there on the table. Mm-hmm. Why mm-hmm. not? We drank it. It tasted fine, but we are already <laughs> alive, you know. Right. So nothing really yeah. weird. That's the only one where nothing weird happened. Can you figure it <laughs> yeah, out? Exactly. Yeah. That seems kind of that seems kind of silly. So why not? That that'll happen later. Oh yeah, so you drag the deer out, um, and yeah, do you guys keep drinking or clean up or what? I think we got to clean up. 
I think we clean up while drinking. Okay. Do you have one of those montages where we have a broom in one hand and a bottle in the other? Yeah. yeah. There's no cleaning <laughs> skill, though. Yeah. It, I think it's mending, technically. Probably. Yeah. Um, so what, we, what we've got going is Ashlyn's got one broom and one bottle and Esteban's got one broom and one bottle and eventually we switch where Ashlyn has two bottles and I have two brooms. <laughs> <laughs> Right, right. Yeah. So, Esteban, give me a sing check. Ooh. I'm good at that. It's my best skill. I assume you're not going to not sing. <laughs> I assume you're not going to not sing. Yes, exactly. Can I help with something? I mean, I don't know if this is a winch test or something. It has to do with the alcohol that he's drinking. Oh. Mm hmm you can tell me how you help him sing. I thought this was part of the cleanup, but no. Yeah. What's yeah. my intent? Your intent is to sing by cleaning. No, it's just GM bullshit, man. Just roll it. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're honest about that. At least you're honest about that. Okay, then I'm going to insert my own intent. I want to sing... I want to drink wine that makes my singing better. Okay, you can think that. <laughs> Perfect. I think all wine does that. Exactly. <laughs> or at least that's it makes you think that. Well, that's what Golden said. <laughs> yeah. Cool. I'm going to fork in mending because yeah. I feel like you're fixing totally things good. makes this kind of a time. Yeah. Like this yeah. adds to the scene just in Esteban's own head. Yeah. Sure. Uh do we got anything else? Sing wise? Yeah, sure. Uh can we create some cacophony and I start playing the flute? Yeah. So now there's just like flute playing and Ashlyn's got both bottles and both brooms, and I'm playing the flute. <laughs> two bottles yeah, like... in one hand and two brooms in the other. Right? <laughs> Ned's That's probably just cool. like banging with some stuff, like two spoons on like the table and stuff, playing drums or something. Yeah, just... sure. <laughs> just cook off. Except it. like a pair of cymbals for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It's not good. I okay, really that's extra dice. I like it. Uh, what's my op? It's a graduated test. Okay, cool. <clears throat> All right. Nice. So you start singing, and then you start playing the flute, and you start drinking again. The flute's still playing, and you're like confused. And the mm -hmm. flute's look over, and the flute's like just fl floating in midair, playing itself. <laughs> and then you drop the broom, and the broom starts sweeping by itself. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but I think I like it. Okay, it's so this piece. is pretty good. But I do have a six and a lot of fate. Do it. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're gonna see where we get nope, never nope. mind. Nope. Uh, <laughs> just one brute Continue. by itself. No, it just sweeps by itself. What do you do? Just one broom sweeping by itself while the flute plays. I continue to clean up. <laughs> okay. Well, Ashen, look. And then I'm clearly like saying this, so Ned's just hearing. What? Flute. That's amazing. Flute playing itself. How did that happen? What's going on? Since you don't know about this, maybe it has something to do with the wine? It must. I can't keep track of which wine this is. Which wine is this? You can't keep track. Like I look exactly. at the two bottles that are in my hand and I'm, I like, I'm like, one of these is blue and one of these is green, but I'm not sure which one. And they're both just teal. There's like a third one on a table, and like there's a fourth one on like the of the fireplace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's just like, well, it's cleaning, so let's uh, help it, I guess. Mm -hmm. 
I suppose so. We've made kind of a mess, haven't we? Mm-hmm. Right, so it takes a little bit, but you get the place clean. At least you think so. But the broom keeps on sweeping. Mm-hmm. Do you think it's just going to keep on like this? Mm-hmm. Just until you click it about the sixth or eighth time, which it flies around the house and then disappears. Or it explodes. <laughs> okay, so have we accomplished our intent of cleaning up the house yet? or is... No, because this thing was to see... Uh, cool things happen with the wine. <laughs> so I, I uh, want to actually clean this house yeah. of all the blood. There might not be a test necessary is what he's saying. No, it's already clean. House is clean. We, okay. we, we cleaned it. There's no... There's no, no we don't need to roll any dice. It's clean. Okay. Super like, clean. Well, like the broom hasn't had enough. It just keeps on sweeping stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that like watching the lonely broom sweep by itself is a good place to take a break. Sure. All right. As Devon keeps crying because it's so sad. Oh. <laughs> Poor broom. Sad broom. Sad. I take the broom away from you and I just start sweeping along with the broom that's sweeping by itself because <laughs> I think it needs a friend. <laughs> oh yeah. When a broom sweeps alone, sweeps it sweeps. It sweeps with Hitler. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, what? I don't know what that means, but let's um, let's get a break. On to the break.